OK. So what I have is sine of u equals negative 7 divided by 25, and cosine of e equals negative 4 over 5. What they're asking us to do is determine what the tangent of u minus v is. Um, sorry, so we have the sine of u and the cosine of v. And they want us to find the tangent of u minus v by applying this formula. Tangent of u minus tangent of v divided by 1 plus tangent u times tangent v. Now the problem is, we know what sine of u is, but we can't plug in sine of u into this formula, can we? We can only plug in the tangent of u. And we know what cosine of v is, but we can't plug in cosine of v either. So we need to figure out what is the tangent for u and what is the tangent of v. Now these, now these are not on a unit circle, so we know that we have to create a triangle. triangle. So sine of u says negative 7 over 25. Um, and I believe, was there a constraint on any? Yeah. Oh, yes, it says it's, they're all in the quadrant 3. right? So it says this problem has to be, your angles are all dealing with quadrant 3. So therefore, I know my triangle for the first one. If this is angle u, then this is negative 7, because that's your opposite side over your hypotenuse. right? So therefore, I need to figure out what my adjacent side is. So I could say 25 squared is equal to negative 7 squared um, plus x squared. Well, 25 squared is, let's carry the one, 625 equals 49 plus x squared, then subtract 49. And that's going to be 200 and what's 625 minus your 49 is going to be 596. And that's going to equal x squared. And the square root of 596 is going to 24. There we go. Well, yes. So we're going to have, remember when you take the square root, you get x equals plus or minus 24. But since we know that's in the third quadrant, right? we know that it has to be negative. Does that make sense? Why we make it negative? Because they tell us it's in the third quadrant. So when I say it's in the third quadrant, most times it's in the third quadrant. Right. Now let's go and look at the cosine of v. So cosine of v is a very similar triangle. Here's your angle v. But now they tell us the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. But they don't tell us the opposite side. Now, you could do, again, you could do the Pythagorean theorem like we did up there. Or you guys could also notice that this is a Pythagorean triple. When you have one leg is 4, your other leg is 3, your hypotenuse will always be 5. So we know this is 3. And since we're dealing with the third quadrant, it's going to be negative 3. All right? So we have this information. And the reason why we had to do this is because now that we have a triangle, can we figure out what tangent is? Yeah, tangent is negative 7 over negative 24, which is actually just going to be positive 7 over 24. And our tangent of v is now going to be positive 3 over 4, right? Because the negatives will divide out. So therefore, I can say the tangent of, well, tangent of u now, we know the tangent of u is now 7 over 24 minus the tangent of v, which is 3 over 4 divided by 1 plus tangent of u, which is 7 over 24, times tangent of v, which is 3 over 4. Right? OK, so what we need to do is we can multiply this on the denominator. Uh, to subtract these, we know we have to get them to be common denominators, right? So I can multiply this by uh, 6 over 6. And here we'll just multiply this out. So therefore, I'm going to get 7 over 24 minus 18 over 24 divided by 1 plus 21 over 96. Right, just to get to common denominators, right? Now, to add 1 plus 96 over 21, We'll do this over here, 1 plus 21 over 96. We need to multiply this by 96 over 96. Right? So now we've got to go ahead and add them. Right? So then this is going to be uh, 117 over 96. 
So therefore, and then we can subtract these. So we're going to get um, this has become 7. So that's going to become negative 11 over 24 divided by 117 over 96. Now to get your now to get your fraction out to the denominator, you have to multiply by the reciprocal. Right? And so now we know this is going to multiply out to 1. And then what we need to do is from here, now I just need to go ahead and either cancel them out or multiply them through and simplify. And anybody have your, I'm not that great at my mental math. The top is going to be 1,000. Divided by. Yeah. OK, and can you simplify that? Hit math. Let me see your calculator. <laughs> you can reduce it to 44 over 117. Yes, negative. Thank you. And that would be your final answer. Uh, probably not as numbers as high as that, but you're going to have to do something like that. 